how do we feel about sex robots? Thanks for joining us in the boardroom. Our job is simple. We understand that what you see online has power. The power to make you feel. And you deserve to feel good. That's where we come in. Our dedicated team of analysts are on hand to review and discuss the internet's wildest, weirdest and most watchable videos. This is a place where there are no wrong answers. David Labby, your smooth tech talker. Claudia Fior, head of HR. It needs horny regularly. Callum Mullen, bean cultural interpreter. Well, yeah. right, what did you do last night? Uh, I got woo. You got wooed? Mm. Woo-woo. You got wooed? I got Ooh. woo, woo-ins. He was wooed over a woo-woo. Mmm, I got bear woo-woo. Woo? Woo! Now he's feeling woo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, guys, I like how, apropos of nothing, completely unplanned, entirely, it shows together that we're, we're developing this real You said symbi- everything but nothing. Yeah, you, yeah, you know, let me lie, let me lie, let me lie. Okay. We've developed this real symbiosis, this deep relationship where, <laughs> apropos of nothing, with no indication, we have all come into the office today knowing that today was the day to wear stripes. Callum, what would you christen this day? On Stripey Wednesday, we Saturdays. Wear. On Wednesday we wear stripes, even though you said stripey Saturday. Yeah. Because Callum never knows what day it is. Yeah. We can call it Saturday. Once we rise to the top of the market, we will be able to dictate what day is what to everybody well, else. Well, we are the board of directors. Yeah, we, we are. are yeah. And we are well, we so are we well are on the way bosses. on our rise. Oh, Callum. Oh. Do you want to? Yeah, yeah, let me just go grab that. I wonder what we're doing today. So Got today's it. topic is... Technology. 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 Tech. Technology. Right, guys. David, wanna... I can see you yeah, have some thoughts. And I would love to get tech. these thoughts down. Technology. One day they'll create technology to stop left handed people smudging everything we write. The wait continues. Are you sure that's not already out there somewhere? You just don't know about it? Trust me, I've had this condition all my life. <laughs> condition. So, uh, do we think technology is beneficial? Is technology going to help us? in the long term? Is it helping right now? The risks of technology? Um, like, Let's have uh, another branch, Callum. Terminator, risks. robots taking over. How do I spell Schwarzenegger? Just write, get to the chopper. <laughs> Big tech, but that's another branch. New branch. Robots. Just give me something more robots. Robots taking over the world, having too much power. Exclamation mark and question mark, because I is robot. that ludicrous? I don't I know. I robot. I robot. I, robot, we know how that ended. I should have listened to Will Smith. The impact of technology on healthcare. I'm putting that at the top because healthcare is above all. Without health, what do we have? Internet, social media, does that come? Social media, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Under social media, do you mind if I add an idea? Yeah, go ahead. Under social media, I'm going to do connection. Mm. Following on from social media, I guess. Technology and creativity, do you guys think there's... Benefits and drawbacks. Okay, yeah. I think it's... Easier to copy, but mm. also easier to be, um, have original ideas. Can you remember the first gadget you ever had? What, what's a gadget? What defines yeah, a gadget? Yeah, define a gadget, because I know my first phone, but my first phone probably wasn't like big, great technology. No, but it's, if, if it's technological. Okay, well then it was, you know, them slide up Sony Ericsson phones that were black with orange details. and With the keyboard? Yes, yes, you yes, were yes, lit. yes. You were super lit. Yeah, one of those. Did you never have a watch? Like a Barbie one. Oh, That's a gadget. I remember transitioning from the TV with the flat back to the flat screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember the flat back TV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Proper, you walk past oh, the bump into the back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There she is, the BBL to the, TV. To the flat screen. Yeah. Do you know, I remember when I first came to this country in Poland, for whiteboards, they still use like a black chalkboard and chalk. Oh, man. Nice. Yeah, so when I came over here and I saw like a interactive whiteboard, I was amazed. Jeez. I was asking the teacher so many questions. I was like, How, what, what? Whoa, 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 okay, okay. Like, are you using a pen? Okay, okay, okay. Do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember? What am I doing? What am I doing? Interactive whiteboard. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, you're making those, it used to do circles and then you could, uh, oh, you're calibrating the, the board. The one, calibrating the, the board, one, yes. Calibrating the board. Did you ever get to do that? Yeah, I did. We, yeah, it was yeah, so yeah, much yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I when I used to, street. people used to be like, oh yeah, I want to calibrate it. And then they didn't get it right. I'd be like, bro, why are you calibrating you it? Calibrate oh, they're bare short. And they're like, oh, can someone do that top corner? And I'm like, why did you do it? Why did you Now, do it? when I'm writing here, the line is appearing here. Rubbish. Terrible. Um, talking about calibrations, have you guys ever had an idea for any inventions? 
yes, but I don't know if it's like, I don't think it's like tech. Yeah. Do you know what I, I mean? That. It's an invention, I but I don't think it's a technology. Like it's an idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I have really long nails. And there are set certain things that I struggle to do. I can do them, but they're just not the easiest of things to do. So I really wanted to make like, you know how people have like pen knives that you yes. can take camping and they do loads of little things. Like it has a bottle opener, it has this, that, any other. I wanted to make one of those, but it has all the tools I need when using my nails. That's actually quite a cool idea. Yeah, it cool is. Idea. Do your nails sound like this? Are they as long as mine? Do you struggle to take your card out of the ATM or open a banana or pick up a coin off the floor? Struggle no more and get the bad bitch 3000 today. No, no, how many times do I have to say one of the nails to be a knife, one of them to be a tweezer, and the other, no, a tweezer. Do you know what, just send it over, we'll have a look. Agenda, item one, case study, technology. What is my name, please? Change my nickname, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> call me Ronnie, please. From now on, I'll call you. Call me Ronnie. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Siri is so useless. Yep. No, no, no. You're using no. Siri wrong. You're using Siri way wrong. Nah, Siri is useless. No, I'm, I'm with Callum on this one. Siri is whatless. You, you know, using Siri way wrong. Literally today, when I was doing that voice message, when I was talking out a sentence, and then it starts from someone from a different room just typing out their combo. Oh, right. So you're using the voice function and played two voices into it and got annoyed when it could distinguish between voices. L That's what someone I'm a kilometre away. The only thing Siri is good for is asking who let the dogs out. Hey, Siri, who let the dogs out? Due to unforeseen circumstances, that witticism has been retired. Whatless. Series pointless. See? See? Pointless. Series is... Man said, due to unforeseen circumstances, that witticism has been retired. Did you, Siri heard the way you were talking about her. It was like, do you know what? Siri, you know what? I <laughs> you don't like you. You to show me up in front of your friends. <laughs> I'm not going to come. I'm she aired me. Yeah. I tried to tell her I don't like you. She yeah, turned off. Absolutely. She turned off. Do you say thank you to Siri after she's performed your command? No. There we go. Disgraceful. Hey, Siri. How do you expect this new for you? I don't like you. She said, I'm just trying to do my job. If there's anything else I can help you with, just let me know. Hello, Siri. What is the temperature today? It's told me the high today will be nine degrees and the low will be five degrees Celsius. So not only has she given me what I've asked for, she's even added an extra detail because I said, please. Thank you, Siri. And now she'll be nicer to you, not that you deserve it. You're welcome. If you like Davis so bad, <laughs> you could just go on his phone. <laughs> Move out. She said, move out. It makes she said, say. I'm not sure I understand. Well, I don't understand <laughs> you either, Siri. I also read manuals on everything. Sick. I love to read manuals. No, I love to read manuals. Everything. Yeah. Crazy. You've got an amazing technology. brain. I love technology. You can read. <laughs> you, wow. No, but this guy can like, he knows everyone's names. I do. I do. Uh, Come on, left. We've got the wonderful Jed. We've got Rory, up with the microphones. Duncan and Anna, front and centre. My girl Kayla at the back. What's good, Kayla? Liam at the front with this camera. How are you doing, Liam? We've got Elan sitting there. And just behind Liam, we've got Gabriel. And, and then got... right at the back, we've got the wonderful Talia. And How are you doing, Talia? And you've got one more person right at the back over there, the behind back of... Anna and Duncan. Behind Anna and Duncan? There's another lady. Stand up. I'm going to stand. I see you, Izzy. I see you. Oh you haven't forgotten. Oh, I really tried to catch you out with that one. You know? <laughs> I was like, you didn't get it. Do I get some applause? I love you all. Wait, how do I do this again? Why are you on incognito? What are you doing on incognito? She's on incognito. It's not a good start, <laughs> folks. Fuck, I've got 261 tabs open. Okay, we're not 261 going... 261 tabs open? Why are you on the dark web? I'm not on the dark web! Mind your business. How do I do this? How do I... Might... This? No, no, no. That was the history. Oh, there was... one third of billionaires. There is one result in this search history because everything in this phone is done on incognito. <laughs> I will let you draw your own conclusions about that. Wait, does incognito show you a It doesn't show you. It doesn't. That's the point. Okay, well, just... Oh, look at her playing dumb. Look at Oh, does incognito... Callum, are you saying this? Are you saying... Does incognito... Do you know what? Okay, oh, wait. I just... What? I never knew that. I never knew I that. Never knew that. <laughs> I never knew that. Okay, I will tell you what I've Googled in oh, some of my tabs that are open. Okay. Uh, apparently, I'm on someone's OnlyFans. An air fryer silicone liner. Coughing car. I've, I was trying to find a coughing cat, but I spelt car <laughs> okay, by accident. Okay, okay. Oh, is it the picture of the cat going... 
Yeah, uh, literally that. <laughs> that one, yeah. Can dogs eat pillow rice? Did your dog eat your pillow rice? It's a rice? big problem. It's a Did big your dog problem. eat your pillow rice? <laughs> my dog ate my pillow rice and he wasn't allowed to because oh, it no. has spices in it and stuff. Then there's a fake, uh, like a anonymous page to watch people's Instagrams on so I can stalk my ex and that's about it. <laughs> Is you, that, David? My turn, my turn, my turn. What should be on Incognito? Incognito, I'm not. <laughs> I can't even pronounce it. I'm not, everything I do, I do in the light. Vivian Westwood denim jacket because I can't let go of what I was wearing to work yesterday. I need that for myself. Trent Alexander Arnold, continue. Yeah, then well, loads of World Cup stuff, loads of World Cup stuff. I bought a. A, uh, a de I, bought, I bought a dehumidifier and used, I've used it once. Because you forget or because it's not good? Uh, because it's a bit of a faff, because you have to clean it every day. Oh, so so the otherwise, cleaning is just, yeah. you thought it self cleans? Yeah, it, it doesn't self self clean. Um, <laughs> that was so shady. That was so, that was so, no, I kind of, kind of glossed over that. Like, you thought it self cleans? <laughs> well, don't, don't they usually? No, why would they? Early morning <laughs> nausea. That can, be, that can be your next invention. Early morning nausea. No, a self-cleaning humidifier. Question, what, who is your most famous follower? Eva Hero Finesse finds Tiffin. I went to sixth form with him. He plays young Voldemort in Harry Potter. Oh, yeah. Or Hector Bellerin. Nice. That's quite a flex. Yeah, it is. Um, do you know who Ricky Thompson is? Yeah. yeah. He's, yeah, he's yeah, somewhat yeah, famous. Yeah, yeah. How, how would we not know who Ricky Thompson <laughs> yeah. is? He's hilarious. Yeah. He's blessed. Um, either that or... Uh, my ex. Are we allowed to? No. <laughs> Ask? Okay. David. Probably Fern Cotton. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a, a good one. one as well. Yeah. She is so lovely. Fern nice. Cotton. Yeah. Oh. Hello? Oh, hi, Mum. You all right? Oh. Go, what, get the erm? Oh, guys, I'm just going to get the erm. Love to your mum. Bye, Mum. Bye, Mum. Love you. ERM or ERM, um, an emotional response machine. Register your response as either joyful, happy, unsure, or sad. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Yo, whoa! 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 whoa. Right, that at, was first, cold. Bro, at, at first, I thought this was like a Buddhist temple and they were all like chilling. And that was like a security turret in case anyone tried to attack the Buddhists. That's, I think that's super cool. Did you yeah. see the, the force, that water jet? Yeah, that was yeah. quick. That was crazy. See, this is an example of where technology is not just like a, just there for decoration, just to, mm. like for leisure. This is actually really useful. Because, Functional. Yeah, how many times do fires happen when people are asleep? Do you know what I mean? And then by that point, it's too late for you to do something. That's fantastic. As long as um, it doesn't go wrong. Yeah. Like, because with the more technology you have, the more there is a chance of it malfunctioning. Um, but that's why I'm glad the they're still testing. Yeah. I think happy. Cool. Happy. 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 Yeah, happy. Let's go with it's happy. Quite interesting. Alexa, man, just play a song, man, will you? Woman? You don't say please, then nothing. Please. <laughs> Alexa. Alexa, how do we in <laughs> This is David defending Siri. She just like me. She just like me for she real. She just like me for <laughs> real. No, absolutely. Listen, no, no, thank you. Because I think this, this is the weird crossover. Obviously, it's not a person, but it's a habit still. Like you're talking to something that's doing something for you. Like it's, it's, it's a habit talking to something like that. I don't know. I just, it, just on the, listen, I don't believe there's going to be a robot uprising. I don't think that's going to happen. But on the off chance, I like to think I remember who was kind. The cost to our economy on like just old people doing clumsy shit uh, in regards to work. The cost to our economy. Yeah, Oof. it must really fuck our Easy GDP. Ebenezer Scrooge. If we, just, if we just had like, like teenagers and no one over 30 just doing all the computer shit. Everybody who fourth age and writes, I wish your job was over, but it's not. <laughs> sorry, sorry, you, you are important because of people like this. With age comes like goodness for some jobs. He means with them inexperienced. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good stuff, yeah. But um, I really feel like sometimes they just need to sling the hook. 
This video. Oh, happy. For joyful. That joyful. Was very I think she was funny. She was hilarious. Shout out, man. You are moving crazy. Is it just swiping right on April? How do we feel about sex robots? Sex like robots, robots that you f Can't relate, don't really have an opinion. No, because what I was going to say is this is one horny robot. <laughs> I can't imagine it's a healthy thought process that leads you to a sex robot. That is me speaking from complete and total ignorance because I don't know anything about sex robots and never intend to. <laughs> I think the market is going to be booming. He says, I think. I was watching this show in, about Japan. There's bare lonely man there. Yeah, they actually have like places you can go and like just hug, 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 hug yeah, people yeah, and cuddle. Hugs. Callum has one. That's why he was swiping past so many tabs when he was trying to tell us what's on his search history. He's probably hugs. looking up how to clean like, my sex like, robot. What, um, what do you guys think of sex robots for a friend? Well, why, why, why do you think I need the dehumidifier? <laughs> about the sex robot when he was talking about the dehumidifier, he's like, it doesn't clean itself. <laughs> he said, nothing is self-cleaning <laughs> these days. I'm so glad you hung up on your mum before we did this. Me too. I'm, I'm unsure. unsure. What was it? <laughs> it was a, the Tinder robot. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That was pathetic. Unsure. <laughs> oh, shit. Sad. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Story of thunder. For more of all these no-wrong answers, subscribe now. Subscribe, subscribe now. now. Oh, free bro. I've definitely sent a text like that so really? many times. Yeah, but I, I no longer do that because I know it's just a waste of my time. That, that is... guy is reading everything and then he's going to reply to one sentence in the third paragraph. What do you guys think of um, like sending something that should clearly be in an actual conversation? That's a very, very good point. It's a very good point, but as someone who's sent messages like this before, I used to, when you're in a situation with someone who might be gaslighting you, or mm. trying to tell you other things, it's very difficult to get that many points across in a talking conversation because they're going to pick up on everything and be like, oh, no, but you didn't say that, but you didn't do this. And then That's you're true. going on another tangent off that point and then you never actually manage to do every single point. The only time I've been able to say everything like that in a conversation, I've had bullet points in my phone, like on yeah. notes, and I've been like, wait, no, <laughs> but last week you cheated on her, <laughs> on me with her. And then you'd be like, and I'll be like, no, 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 don't say anything. And then you threw my phone in the bin. So basically, a good thing. It's technology is a good thing in this case. Yeah, in this case, yeah, it helps you. Sometimes it is good for communication. Also, you might just be a very anxious person. Do you know what I mean, like, you can't actually bring yourself to say that. You might just need to start the conversation over text, and they're like, do you know what? Do you want to talk about this in person? And then you're like, do you know what? Yeah, fine. Unsure. Unsure? Unsure. Yeah. May I? Yeah. Yes, yes, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Unsure. Agenda, item three. Expert consultant. Ask, experience, and see how you feel. Let's see who we're talking to today. Hi! Hello! Hi! Hi! Our expert consultant, thanks for joining us. Who are you and what do you do? Hi, my name is Hannah Johnston. I am an AI art researcher at Carleton University in Ottawa. Uh, so what I'm looking at is how to make these tools that take your words and turn them into pictures. Going off of that, um, a lot of people obviously like to associate AI or technology with being quite soulless. Um, what would you say in this case, for example, AI can help uh, and unlock in terms of creativity and imagination for people who might need it? Great question. So I think um, a lot of people sort of approach it with just sort of a simple, anything that they want to imagine, you can put in text and get a picture back. But we're starting to see people across a variety of different domains experimenting and using it for different hobbies. So for example, like maybe you want to get a tattoo, you could generate possible ideas with these systems. You could uh, design your garden, or maybe you just want some art for your walls. So how about you each give me a word and we'll try and formulate this into um, a new and uh, unique image. Stamps, post these stamps. Okay, I'm gonna go with my all time favorite sea cucumbers. Chef. So I'm going to generate a postage stamp uh, that includes a chef with a sea cucumber. Oh, what? I thought it was going to do one by one. You can combine all three of them. Hannah, could you give us an explanation of what the system is? I assume it's an algorithm, what it's doing right now. Yeah, so essentially um, how these systems work is they are trained on massive amounts of data. 
So they take in, uh, like some of them are using billions of images and they're pairing those with captions. So they basically have these, these texts and images and they're essentially learning relationships between text concepts and the images in order to then sort of do the reverse. So it's lots of different pictures millions of pictures and it kind of does relationships with them. Um, That's right. Is, I've seen another type of AI where it's kind of like a big confusing mushy merge. Yeah. Is that a different type of algorithm or is that the same kind of thing? Interesting. So I mean previous versions of this even just like a year ago or like several months ago mm. were just worse. Mm. So it's possible that you saw like an earlier iteration of the same sort of concept. Oh, it's amazing. What? What? That's sick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought it was going to be some blurry thing that had like vague colours where you had to point out the edges to me Wait, and can tell I me that close? was a This is crazy. That they... is, I had to confirm if it was a sea cucumber, guys. It looked a bit like a carp fish. Can it do variations with the same? Like, if you typed in those words, would it give you this every time or can you do slight permutations? You can do variations um, by either changing the prompt. You can also, so every time you generate it, you will get a slightly different image. Oh, wow. Unless, yeah, unless you want it to stay the same. Can we can... see another one? So can we get some like sea cucumber facts in the meantime? Okay, so uh, sea cucumber <laughs> facts. Uh, sea cucumbers are actually asexual, which means that they self-reproduce, which also means that they technically share DNA, which means that all sea cucumbers derive from one OG sea cucumber. Damn. Okay, which is scary because they just keep repopulating and eat, they travel the world, so where, which, wherever they are geographically, they adapt to that area. Wow. And they, they don't need anyone. They just need their mouth, their bum hole, and themselves to reproduce. And sea levels are rising, therefore sea cucumbers, they're like the water cockroach. <laughs> when the world ends, sea cucumbers are gonna rule. So we've got some yeah. variations I can share with you. Let's see. Does this work? Wow! <laughs> the sea cucumber is the chef! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's sick. This is the final boss of the sea cucumbers that you get, uh, hence why it's got about... That's not even eight tentacles. It's that's like got, 17 legs. Yeah, it's like. got literally like 17 legs. These are like other sea cucumbers coming off of it, and it is literally a chef. It's got a keyhole mouth as well, which I'm a bit confused about, but it's fire. This looks like the chef has made a soup inside, yeah, the, inside yeah. the sea cucumber, and I'm not really sure what's going on, but like you said, that is how we're going to get rid of the sea cucumbers. It looks you know like I mean? a sea cucumber bowl with soup made of baby sea cucumbers. Yeah. I'm trying to work out what the cucumber element of that one is. I, I think it's, I don't think there is one. I think it just took C, C. and made it C bass, C bass rather than okay. C cucumber. So okay. you can see, you can see what the computer was thinking, but it's gone slightly wrong. It's kind of like how your brain works sometimes, you know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. C cucumber, C cucumber, C cucumber, C bass. C bass. <laughs> Three out of four ain't bad, 75%. Great, so uh, now that we have sort of a first version, maybe we can iterate on this, add in a few more terms. Okay, I'm gonna go globe. Tell him you go, I haven't got one yet. So could could I do bean? Beam? Bean. Like the Like a singular bean. You know, like bean. a baked bean. Or a boiled bean. <laughs> Just an bean. A singular kinds of bean. Perfect. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and can we have a hot water bottle? Hot water bottle? Yeah. Got it. So wow. Oh, I love this. A globe with a single Heinz bean and a hot water bottle. Yeah. That is a complicated yeah. ask. I can show you um, the result of the prompt that we just ran, which involved the globe, the single Heinz bean, <laughs> the hot water bottle. Does that... Oh wow. wow, 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 wow. That is great. That is Callum's ideal world. It's beautiful. Oh my God. The, the map, the world the map, map is on, is on the, the hot water bottle. Whoa, 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 oh, yeah. actually, no, 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 no. Are you, are you taking this detail? It's not like a traditional hot water bottle. It's a water bottle, With, which is being, which has a blanket. So, so it is yeah. being warm, yeah. so it's hot. No, 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 no. The no. intelligence. Look at the, the look, intelligence. At, look at the like color scheme and the script. That's Heinz. It's Heinz. Script. Yeah, yeah, it's Heinz. It's doing Heinz. I script. am blown away by the intelligence. That's Even mad. the bean is on like a thing that you'd put a globe on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
That is sick. Uh, absolutely. I'm way Mental. more impressed with this one than I was with that way one. Way more, way more, way more. I'm loving it. The this world is like a, a bean. hamper that you would get, Callum. Like a Cal perfect Christmas hamper. Callum, you, would you hang this on your wall? I would have this on a golden pedestal, <laughs> to be quite frank. Hannah, I keep seeing kind of AI stuff on my TikTok. Um, how, how does one actually get into it? Great question. So there's a lot of different tools out there that you can explore. Um, most of them are cool. They have like free trials. The one that I've been using today is called Mid Journey, and it's actually uh, run through a Discord community, kind of this constant chat stream of people generating images in these like public forums. Uh, which is cool because people end up kind of riffing off of each other. Now that we've generated um, this like giant Heinz bean, maybe somebody else will take that and generate, you know, a giant Heinz bean like with a tuxedo or whatever they want. And so you get these sort of weird like threads of people generating all kinds of stuff. Fascinating. Sick. Thank you. Earlier, Hallie, you mentioned accessibility. I just wanted you to tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, so uh, I think historically, anyway, art was restricted or limited to people who can, you know, devote the time and have the sort of mobility and uh, dexterity to like practice for years and years, how to like draw or paint um, or what have you. What's cool about this technology is that you can just type in words or even if you had um, a like speech to text system, you could speak words into it and it could actually just generate an image based on that. So you don't, there, you don't necessarily need to come with like tons of skills in a particular domain. You can still produce like cool things from your imagination. So I think it's just broadening the access to creativity in a way that I find really uh, promising. That's really cool. How would you say that like art makes people feel and how does AI feed into that? Yeah, I think this varies from person to person, but I, I think most people have some sort of creative outlet or, or something that they like to do creatively. My hope with this technology is that, again, more people can do things um, in a creative way and it can kind of spark new ways to be creative. So I think um, it makes people feel good to create things. It's just a very human thing to make things and share them with other people. And so this technology just like amplifies that. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye everyone. Hannah was unreal. AI is unreal. Those images were unreal. Yeah. I think we can all agree that was one of the highlights of our meetings. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. 10 absolutely. out of 10. Absolutely. Top I'm definitely going to go on that AI website and make some of my own images if I can find it. But And it's mad, but the more AI images you make, the better AI images will be. What would you, AI, if you had one more chance? I want to see a sea cucumber with arms and legs. Oh, mm. my. That's just Pickle Rick. <laughs> <laughs> well, as a creative person, I think initially it's a bit of a kind of risk. It's, it's a bit scary because we've got a, we've got this uh, robot doing our creativity. But mm. I also do think it's really satisfying to see, oh, this with this, oh, new, new things. So yeah, I got no, no qualms with it really. I think the most like heartwarming and inspiring part of that was the idea of people being able to further fuel their imagination. Yeah, the accessibility side of things means a lot yeah. to me when it comes to this stuff. So that, that, that fills me with joy. Yeah. Yeah. Agenda, item five, report. Thank you. All right, so I would like to round today off by reiterating some of our most important digital etiquette. So rule number one, no unexpected calls. Rule number two, keep business-related communications within business hours. And the all-important rule number three, always remember that Callum's password is all freeze. Three, 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 three. Technology is merely a tool. It can help and it can hinder. It can make art that is really cool. But ultimately, the choice is up to you. Yeah, hype me up, hype me up, hype me up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. So, these are my final thoughts. Old people with tech, hilarious. AI is very cool, uh, but is it cheating with the imagination if you take too much inspiration from it? I love beans, 
but I love bean art even more. Ah. <laughs> Agenda. Any other business? Is this for real? This stinks. Well, it's firstly America, but I've got an inkling that's LA. I'm I just gonna take my robot dog for a walk. Charger. Charger. Wait, is he shouting at? Is, is this person shouting at the pole, saying, I need the charger, because that's like a telephone wire somewhere, or are they shouting at a person that's yeah, not on know. screen? I think he's been kicked out of his house by his ex-wife, and he, all he needs is the charger, so he can text his side team. I need the charger! For more of Wu's No Wrong Answers, head to planetwu.co. Ooh, planetwoo.co!